Gabe Bolt here, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you're able to use one of these. So we're gonna go over some ideas on how to make $1,000 a month at least. Some of them are much more scalable where you can make $10,000 a month plus if you're really good at it and, and you put down that ground groundwork, but um, some of them are just side hustles that you can start right now, just earning some extra money and uh, again are gonna be more valuable than just like driving for Uber or something like that and they're a lot more random than that as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this, get some value and if you do, drop a like it helps the algorithm immensely let's get on with the video start a blog now i know this is probably one of the more common ones but it actually is still really useful and there's lots of different ways you can do it but it's also very important that you have a very specific niche so for instance there's one coming up that i'm actually super excited about it's financial independence but then it, inside of that it is um, healthcare for financial independence people because that is a big problem that um, the financial independence community has right now is everybody, you know, if you're in your 30s and you don't have a full-time job because you're off doing your own thing, whatever, um, you're going to need healthcare and they're trying to figure out what are the best plans, they're talking about it and whatever. So just having a very specific community and a problem that you're fixing is going to make it a lot better than if you're just another health uh, channel or you're just another fitness channel, or you're just another, um, you know, like a financial channel. You gotta have something very specific so people, when they think of you, they're like, ah, that's the healthcare guy, or hey, hey, that's the guy with, you know, the crazy hair. You gotta have a brand behind it, a very specific thing. But that could be something, if you do a good job, it can take years to build up. Like most of the stuff, especially when you're building, like trying to build passive income, it's kind of like, you know, it starts, you got all this groundwork, all this groundwork, and then eventually it starts to tick up. And you might be like right here where you're like, oh, this is, this, this is horrible. This is such a waste of a year of my life. But then you never see that you're like, you're really close to that. So if you have a good thing, you have a message to share, you have something that you love to talk about and you like writing, this can be a really good thing. I personally hate writing, so I am not doing this. I tried to start a little blog, it went horrible because I hate it. Um, but I do do YouTube channel, which is pretty much the same thing. It's just with a different type of format. Um, so you can do that as well, where again, it's been, you know, it's been over a year now and I'm still at that, you know, I did have a little bit of an uptick, but I'm still here as opposed to the people that, that once you break that plane, you can really start to skyrocket. If you want to help me skyrocket, hit the like button. It makes a huge difference. Anyways, next one's affiliate marketing and this can go really well if you do have a blog or, you know, social media following or YouTube following or whatever having um, some affiliate marketing can really make a big difference. So a couple ways people do this is like Amazon. So let's say I'm talking about I'm talking about Rich Dad Poor Dad and like, you know guys, this is the best book ever. It really got me started. I'd highly recommend it. Link down in the description if you wanna check it out. You click on that link and now I'm going to get, you know, a certain percentage if you buy that book or if you buy anything on Amazon in like the next, I think it's like 24 hours. So if you're doing tech reviews, let's say you're, you're doing reviews of cameras and TVs and whatever, and people who are interested in that camera, like I was interested in this camera, I went around and I watched like, you know, 30 different reviews of stuff until I found the one that I knew I wanted and then I bought that. So if people are doing that, you could make money off the ads from people checking out your stuff, whether that's a blog or a YouTube channel or an Instagram account or whatever. Plus you can make uh, money when they click on that link and they buy it. And that can be not only for tech and things like that, that can be for courses, it can be um, for different websites, it can be for anything. You, is you can affiliate, you can affiliate, 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 as you can market other people's um, stuff and make a commission off of that. Let's say I found a like a fitness course that I really love and it's a hundred dollars. I can recommend that fitness course and I can make $10, $20, $50 off of that course. So I don't even need to have something of my own. I can sell other people's stuff or if I'm really good at running ads, I can just run ads for somebody else's course and I can make enough in commission that it is worth it to run those ads. So whatever your skill set is, you can definitely make some money with affiliate marketing. So the next one is to create a subscription business. So this can be a lot of different things. It can be a website where you have something that you post every week, like a Patreon or whatever like that, where it's a subscription. You try to get people to sign up to support you, to watch your stuff, to get your access to your podcast or your videos or, or whatever, or your, you know, your blog posts, whatever. Or it can be something like, I'm gonna send you a box of dog treats every month or a box of local fresh produce every month and try to get people to sign up for that or clothes or whatever. There's so many different of these subscription services out there. But if you can do something local that can be smaller and easier to handle, or you can do something with a digital product, um, having the subscription thing is very good. And people will sign up for those. People like subscriptions. They have, everybody has like a Hulu, a Netflix, an, uh, an Amazon. Everybody has these subscriptions. So if you have a lot of value 
you can definitely get these people. And also, again, it's important to be niche. Like you have dog, you know, a, a box of stuff for dogs that is specifically, you know, for this size dog. People will sign up for that and you can all go get it all at Walmart and send it over, you know, if it's to say like it's good quality stuff or whatever people do. Um, and, and you can do that and you can get those dog lovers or, um, you know, new parents or whatever, whatever market you're going after. So I think the next one has a lot of potential. And again, having some sort of following will help a lot in this, but is to create a course. So this is something that I might look into uh, pretty soon if I, if I find something that I think will bring enough value that I could actually charge people for. Right now, I just like bringing people value and there's no way for you to really give anything back. So it's kind of like, I don't know, I like it a lot more. It's not really businessy. It's kind of something that I do for fun. You can create a course and a lot of times those will sell for $100, $50, $500, like depends on the course. It can be anywhere from $20 to I've seen, you know, multiple thousand dollars digital courses that you make it once and then you just market it. You have it in your, you know, your video links or you run ads for it and you just continue to market that course. And if you have a skill, whether it's, you know, running people's uh, social media, Facebook advertising, you can do um, a fitness course, a cooking course, a financial course, any type of course in the world. It's very specific how to underwater basket weave find out right now for $19.99 and if somebody's really interested in that, they will pay for it if you are a good quality product. And then you don't even have to have a following. You can just run ads for it or you can have other people who are affiliate market for you and you can make a commission off of doing nothing. Again, if you make that really good course, you start to get it out there um, and it brings a lot of value to people. People will pay for that. The next one is to be a social media strategist type deal. So uh, a lot of companies, especially like small businesses, don't know how to run social media, but they know that there is a lot of value there if they can get in front of people in their community. So if you know how to do that or you can learn the skills, I, I looked into doing this and I came very close to starting uh, starting this up, but then I went with YouTube and some other stuff instead. And anyways, if you can learn how to do that, you can start charging people $1,000 a month, $1,500 a month, $500 a month to run their social media and maybe to run ads for them. If you're, let's say, a dentist, and you can get that dentist five new clients that are worth $1,000 each and you charge them $1,000 a month, they're gonna love you and they're gonna be happy to pay you that $1,000 a month. And if it's really easy for you and you just set up like a Facebook campaign, um, like a Facebook ads campaign and you post a few times a week and you can schedule it all in one day, then you're making a thousand dollars for that one day's worth of work. Now, if you have those skills, you can't just go out there and tell people you have those skills and then just do a really horrible job. You might have to do the, the beginning for free and show them that you you know can really bring them value. But then that can be a really cool thing. And I'm probably gonna get into that at some point um, just because I like it. I think it's pretty fun uh, to learn how to market stuff online and, and to run people social for them. And you can do this for so many people. Nobody understands how to run social media. So if you could figure that out everybody will pay. I know right now as a realtor, there are so many different companies out there that are sending me stuff like, hey, we'll run your social media for you for $500 a month. And there's like 30 different companies who will do that. And they're running Facebook ads that I see to say that, hey, you could be this Facebook ad and we'll run it for you. So if you can figure out how to do that and you're actually good at it, you can find people who will pay for any. That's just as a realtor. This can be mortgage people. It can be fitness people, it can be influencers, it can be small business owners, it can be anybody under the sun and you can really uh, take advantage of that. So that's something that's really cool and uh, I, I really enjoy it. If you're good at photography or videography and you know how to edit and all that type of stuff and you're actually good at it, you can make money doing people's headshots, doing people's weddings, doing people's um, you know, bar mitzvahs or engagement photos or whatever. You can make $3,000 on a weekend doing somebody's wedding. If you're really good at it, you have the equipment and you know, like you're actually good at what you do, that can be a really cool way to make money. And if you enjoy doing it as well, uh, I think that's really just a cool thing. And I, I really wanna do this at some point. I think it's fun to do. So if you have those skills, you have a good camera, it might take a little upfront investment to learn how to edit and, and get a good camera and whatnot. Um, but you can really make some really good money doing people's headshots, especially if you enjoy doing it. Next one's a little different, but bear with me. Um, starting a cleaning company or a landscaping company. So we got a two in one here. So the idea of this is, let's say a cleaning company, for example, you can find somebody who will pay you $200 to clean their house. And it usually works out to like $40 an hour if you're really good at it. So let's say you have two different houses that you do and you get $200 per house and you can do them both in one day. So now you're making $400 a week for working one day. But if you can leverage that and you can hire somebody to go with you and you pay them $10 an hour, now you're making $70 an hour because you're taking 30 from them and the 40 for yourself and you're making $70 an hour 
um, for one day's worth of work and you're you know, doing that and you can add a few more or whatever. Or if you can get that person to be really good, just send them out, pay them $10 an hour. You're making that $30 an hour and you're not even showing up for work anymore. So you can do this on the small scale. Once you get bigger, you need insurance and all that type of stuff. Um, but on a small scale, that can be something that's really good, especially for younger people. Um, you don't really need any, there's no startup costs really. You just need to have stuff to clean with or like a, a lawnmower or whatever if it's landscaping. And you can do so many different things. You can do um, like shoveling in the winter and whatever. And you can just hire people and pay them like not that much, hire other friends or whatever. And you can make money doing that. And I think that's just a really easy, cool way to start making money like right now. Do some freelance work. So if you are good at, let's say, um, video, again, just editing. I'm using things that I know. If you're good at editing, you can go on places like Fiverr or a bunch of different other websites where people will say, I need a ad for this product or for my website or whatever. It's 30 seconds long. Here's 50 bucks, here's 100 bucks. Just make this ad for me. And you can do that or it could be writing. It can be somebody's assistant. It can be any type of virtual thing online or physical editing or whatever or writing a blog post, let's say that I wanted you to take this video and I want you to turn it into a blog post. Just take everything I said, turn it into a blog post, post it on this blog and I'll give you a hundred bucks. A lot of people would do that. It would take them 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, maybe an hour and they make a hundred bucks. And me, I absolutely hate it. So I'm happy to pay somebody that. This is not something that I'm actually doing, but I'm just saying uh, a lot of people will do that. And if they have a blog that's making money that totally pays for it and it's totally worth it and they don't have to actually do the work. Um, so that's something that you can do virtually. You can do that from home and you can make some pretty decent money if you have some skills and there's so many different skills, um, that you can sell online or you can, you know, freelance writing or whatever. There's a lot of different things that you can do. Tutoring. So not quite as glamorous, but let's say, you know, history, you know, math, you know, whatever you can help some kid, uh, improve their life and you can get anywhere from 25 to a hundred dollars an hour to do that. And, and that can be something that's pretty easy, even if it's piano or whatever. Um, if you have a skill that you are good at, or even coaching, if you're, if you're like, you know, finances, you know, um, business or whatever, you can be a life coach. You can be a consultant. You don't need licenses for like most of that stuff. If you're actually good at it and people will pay you $500 a month um, to, to be their coach and to talk to them for half an hour a week and yell at them and say like, why aren't you doing your work? Or for a kid to, to meet with them, you know, an hour a week and help them with their homework or whatever. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like it helps out dramatically and if there's any other ones that I forgot to mention throw them down in the comments if there's something that you're doing that's making a thousand dollars a month that's kind of weird I'd like to know about it because uh, I, I, I've tried most of these or I will try them at some point um, and if you want to see more stuff like this that's fun and exciting please subscribe because then you can see more stuff like this it's fun and exciting